Eight pieces screws are used to install the working table. The short poles are installed on the side of the counter interface. Tighten the screws with tool. The long poles are installed on the side of the reel brake. Align the upper and lower holes and fix the workbench with screws. The side lock buckle tightly grasps the control box and can be locked with a light press. Press it and push the lock upwards to easily unlock. Install the handle. Loose the reel brake to check if the handle is installed correctly. Install the camera sleeve. Install the cable to meter counter device. Install the camera head. Align the limit slot of the cable connector with the limit slot of the camera to connect correctly. First lock, please tighten it clockwise. The second lock, please tighten it counterclockwise. This ensures the firmness of the connection and provides double protection. Install camera skid. One end is fixed to cable connector. The other end is fixed to camera housing. Fixed at different positions of the camera housing, the size of the bracket can be adjusted. One PC meter counter link cable, one PC signal link cable, two cables are labeled with different signs. Straight connection to the control box. Elbow connection to the cable reel. Power on the control box. Take out the USB adapter and plug it into the keyboard port. Install two AAA battery and input characters. If the cursor does not flash on the screen, press F8 and you will see the cursor flashing. Then you can input characters normally. F8, display characters, F9, hidden characters, F10, clear all characters. When the light is particularly strong, align the Velcro on both sides of the sunshade accurately and fix it to protect the screen in all directions. Please use the original power adapter to charge to avoid damaging the device due to voltage mismatch. When the battery indicator is low, please charge the battery. The charger indicator light is red to indicate that the battery is charging. It turns green when fully charged. The equipment does not work properly when there is a malfunction, we need to use this testing cable to assist in the diagnosis. Use the testing cable to connect the camera directly to the control box, test the full function of the camera. If all the functions are working well, we can confirm that the camera and the control box is in good condition.
Then the problem comes from the cable reel part. If the camera part is not working, you can know the problem is from the camera or the control box. Please contact us for the corresponding after-sale support. Thank you.